All right, now that my robot is covered with printing ink, I'm going to use a different piece of paper to lay over the top of it to, to pull my print. So I'm going to use my hand and give it a massage. There you go, robot. I hope you're enjoying your massage. I want to make sure I press really well all over every part of it so it really prints well. I don't want my paper to slide around though, so I'm always using one of my hands to just hold it down in place. And my other hand is the massaging hand. Take a peek. Ooh, ta-da! Look at my robot, my robot print. All of the different parts of cardboard show the different parts of my robot. And it's okay that it doesn't all red. That's how I show, that's how I get to be able to see my eyes and my nose and my mouth. And all the different parts of my robot have little, little spaces. That's good. That's how they show up. All right. And here is even a third option. You can take some aluminum foil, some tin foil, and you can wrap your collagraph. So I'm going to cut a piece that's a little bit bigger than my design. I'm going to take it and press it down and use my finger. I've, once I've gone all the way around my cardboard, then I can do a rubbing over it, except instead of a crayon, I can use my finger. And I'm creating a relief sculpture. I hope you can see it on the video. I know tinfoil is really shiny. And it's creating a reflection. But by pressing around my robot, I'm making the shape of my robot pop out from the tin foil and cardboard. Now he looks like the Tin Man. So whichever step you decide to take, there's the aluminum foil, printmaking, and crayon rubbing of my robot. Remember, it doesn't have to be a robot. It could be any design that you come up with. Thanks. Have fun. I hope yours turn out great.